back to the farm guys. Um, busy day weighing here today. You would have just seen us getting the cattle in with the drone. Um, these are what we call our techno cattle. So they are on cell grazing and also continuous stocking blocks of ground all in one big field. And um, today's the day that they get their uh, monthly weighing. We're also weighing um, some of the cattle back at the home farm. We'll put those through our new Arrow Equip mobile crush a little bit later on. We've got all the cows in, apart from three odd ones which are on uh, what we call a spare bit of ground. They were split out from the rest of them when we got to all the grass a couple weeks ago. So we'll just get those in a minute and I'll explain a bit more about what's going to happen. So these are the three old ones. Um, what we want them to do is go down to the corner down there, but they all need to be together to do that. Quite fast cow. a bit more difficult than it should have been but they are now on this track um, there's a gateway at the end that goes out to the concrete track me and dr phil will go and shut those in so they're all getting weighed um, a lot of these or some of these have gps collars on as well for um, a little side project so i think paolo's going to change the batteries in the gps collars and then they've got to be reallocated back to their cell so we'll shut these in uh, Paolo should be over in a minute to start his work to them and we'll then go and set up the cells ready for when we want to put them back um, they get changed onto fresh grass every day these guys do and then we'll be uh, ahead of the curve right so all the cows are now in the pen here uh, in a minute we will start weighing them we've got one lot in the crush there so we've been using a new app called AgriWeb um, it's like a herd management app for things like cows in fields so you can't see it, but in the field behind me up there, there's a bunch of cattle. Um, when I move them at the weekend, you go onto the app and you just drag the cattle from one field to the next. That's really easy. Uh, it also connects to things like the weigh heads. Um, I just had to send Paolo back to get a different one because this one is uh, an old version and it doesn't work. So we need um, one of the new ones. So he'd come back to get that. This is the uh, app here. So we're just, we've connected ourselves to the stick that's just turned off. So we can connect that. And then we need to connect to that easy way way head so paolo's gone back to get that um, what happens then is when the cow come in the crush um, their weight will stabilize here on a way head you then blip them with the stick for their eid tag and they will come up and uh, save on the agriweb app been trying a couple different apps um, we seem to like agriweb at the minute we're on a trial basis with it um, we might possibly uh, use that for the next 12 months there are of course others we've used breeder there's Herdwatch. Um, and then there, I think there is one for farm plan, which we are, is the old sort of computer system we're using. But um, yeah, we're quite liking AgriWeb at the moment. So once Paolo comes back, we'll connect up the stick and the weigh head, uh, and then they'll start weighing these cattle. Me and Phil will go back and um, get some stuff ready for weighing later on. Phil's currently out moving some fences. He won't be much longer, and then he'll be back here. So we're getting 10 mil of deck to spot each. The animals, um, that's just for flies fly weather I and mean, it's hot and still and uh, it just helps them stay healthy the, the flies really bother their eyes there is one animal here we had to jab the other day that had a bad eye we are on the move we're just uh, taking the cows back to their paddocks now they've had the GPS batteries changed or well, the ones that wear collars have had their batteries changed anyway some of them don't like that anger set so we're on the uh, return leg. Doc is behind me. He's going to go and set up the next paddock where the group that are currently being weighed or um, put through the handling are going. Whilst we take this lot back. And they're never in a hurry to go back. Also, you might have noticed change of vehicle. The Honda F1 team that reside in the uh, farm workshop have changed the tyres. We've got some new rubber on the front. I had to hand the gator back because that was booked out to someone else after uh, coffee. So this is one of the techno groups we're just running back. Uh, these are their cells they go into. So you can see there's a, a wire rope there. 
and another one over there. So they've got one and a half cells worth of area at the moment. We've got water troughs here on a long piece of water pipe that you can connect and disconnect from various taps all the way along their cells. So as they move every day, you move their water pipe with them. Uh, so this is what they have grazed. We're just running them up, down and around the corner. So there's a, an example of the uh, water pipe fitting. So it's just a stop tap, plumb it in, turn it on. Ersto has scored more in these last four test matches yes. than he has in his previous 27, apparently. Cricket's on, if you were wondering. JM farming for the cricket highlights. <laughs> yes, exactly. Okay, so we, this is our um, weigh session here that we've just finished on AgriWeb. So we can view all the animals here in a big list. Um, and see their various weights. This is the first time that these guys had been weighed on this app, so there's no average daily gain, but from now on, um, it will obviously record what they've been weighed today, and then every time they get weighed going forward, it will put a average number in there for what they're doing per day. It will tell you exactly where your animals are. So these are the ones that we've just been moving about here running them into their various places. We've got some in the shed over there at Rowden. Got a group of cows in New Park above. You can see all the sheep that are on assist in the various paddocks. And then if we head back home, see all the various animals that are in all the various fields. So it's very handy. If you want to move some, you just hold it and drag and drop them wherever you want to put them. Easy. Right, I've got some cows following me up the road. They took a little while to get out of their field, but they got a new drain uh, cover that goes across the gateway to the field they're in. So they didn't really want to come across it, but they're coming now. Get out of it, flies. Now, the way I have this new GoPro set up, uh, I need a screwdriver to take the uh, cases on it off. If I need to get to the battery or the SIM card, which is not ideal, really. So I did ask Mr. Uh, Tom Pemberton how he has his. He was very kind and replied to me. Perfect. Gave me a uh, couple useful tips. Because if the battery, for whatever reason, doesn't want to turn on like it just did, I need a screwdriver and sort of 30 seconds to get it working, which when you're driving, very easy. Right, so these chaps have all been weighed through the arrow equip there once. We're now gonna run them back through the other handling underneath the John Bowman semi-permanent direction. Because uh, they all need collars putting back on. Um, Paolo and Charlie are just changing the batteries on them. And then we're also going to weigh them in the other crush just to see if it's weighing the same as the arrow equip because the arrow equip passed its calibration last week and the other one didn't. So we just want to see how far out they are from each other. I'm going to weigh them, so. Yeah. yeah. You can you imagine how many tractors you could buy if you didn't have a wedding? <laughs> you, could, you could start a small fleet. I see that every day. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell him. I'll tell, I'll tell Abby, I'll let her know. Well, Bill says, knows that. It took us 20 years to get married. Bill says, been off the wedding by a tractor. <laughs> yeah, been off the wedding by a tractor. Yes, ain't got amazing weddings. The last time your ass was on camera, John, I got Come a lot on. of views. Come on. Come on. I'm not surprised. Get out of court. Bear all covered. Bear all covered. Covered. It's not some sort of porn shoot. <laughs> Imagine how many views she's got if it was bare. <laughs> Indecent exposure. Why didn't you take the photos of his backside anyway? Well, you were there when it happened. It's <laughs> 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 got like this for what? <laughs> I don't remember that. Down there, down there. Come on. You were trying to hook up or unhook the trailer. I can't remember which way around it was. Yeah, it's um, Mike Williams. Right side winding the jacket. Ah! Oh, it is one for the ladies. <laughs> so Andy here is on day Six of the hangover? Day four. Four, the day four of the hangover. Yeah, what are the current symptoms? Uh, Fairy throat? Death. Uh, <laughs> basically, it would have killed the lesser man. <laughs> I, I do include you in that, George. <laughs> so what this is then, this is stupidity, it's heroism. Exactly, yeah. Ah, I'm basically, you know, I get it now. I am a hero. Of, uh, 610 kilograms. Can you change the Google way, do you feel? Do something else. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. No, you've got to leave, leave it there three years and we can get was it retrospective planning for it. Has he? He'll have a house here before long. Has it appeared on uh, Google Earth yet? Is it oh, a no, satellite thing there? 
Yeah. You lose your BPS area payment for this bit now. Yeah. Can't be. Your phone's ringing. I know. It's, I Where can't, is it? Can't be get everything at once here. It might be the farm office. I want 66. Nah, don't worry about that. I think that might be the next one. 546, what have we got? 2214. 2214. Yeah, like you say, this thing there would be perfect, wouldn't it? That is the next job. Both of these. Both of these. All right, so Jollop and Jollop. Jollop. Release. Release. Close. Close. Jollop. Oh, I should have let that one go. Yeah. Yeah. And then hold it back to the face. Push up. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Like so. Wow. Then the follicles. If you so Thank you, you hold tight, I'll take these away. Oh, so we then. use these. Yeah, use this. Yeah. Thank God we don't have to strip the follicles from his bollocles. That would be a lot more dangerous, wouldn't it? Yes. <laughs> well, every day is a school day. Perfection. Mel did say, have you got scissors? I said, we're in scissors, man. <laughs> Fuck it, talking about it. You hold him? You put your finger ass here. See, Mel, yeah, Mel knew what she is. Other people. Mel knows her shit. She there knows. Uh, I blipped this one, Phil, but that one it. Yeah, you can go. Spend it. I, I think, I don't know. The one thing that the Apple, or not the thing that the Apple products do better is sensing where you actually want the damn yeah. thing. Screen lock. Yeah. Uh, excellent. Hadda! 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 <laughs> oh, girls. So, we are just taking back what are known as the green cattle here on the farm platform. So they are the third and final group that will be weighing on the uh, on the platform this week. We've left two in the handling area. We've got one there that keeps, for a better phrase, being sick. Um, and anyone that works with cattle will be thinking, well, of course they're sick. They regurgitate their food so that they can ruminate, but um, it keeps just chucking up mouthfuls of clear fluid, which is not entirely correct. So we've rung the vet about that one so we're going to keep it in uh, with a mate so it's got some company uh, and get the vet to come and have a look at it because once we turn them back out here to the field it's not as easy to get them in as if we just leave one in the shed there for an hour till the vet comes so hopefully that one will be all right there are cows very well done Hopefully we'll bring your uh, friend back to you in a little while. Yeah, that's them all weighed. There's probably none fit to go this month, but by the time we weigh them again next month, there'll be probably a lorry load between the two groups that we have out grazing. So yeah, I'm gonna uh, head back to the farm. 
and get on with some other jobs. So I'll probably end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed seeing the cattle and the air equip handling uh, crusher that we've got there a little bit. Um, we're going to use that for TV testing, I think, next week for uh, some of the off ground, but we haven't really used it much since we got it, and the intention is to use it more because once the cattle are in it, it is a very, very good crush. You can have people, um, cattle in the way part and then cattle in the non way part, and two people have been doing two different jobs to them, and it's, you know, it works quite well. But um, yeah, thank you for watching the video. If you haven't already, please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. If you want any merch, there's a link in the description along with the links to uh, all my other socials where you can follow me on Snapchat, Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, whatever you fancy. And yeah, we'll uh, see you on another video very soon. Cheerio.